Look, it's Gaston the ladybird. Hi, Gaston. Daddy, can Gaston join our picnic? Hmm, I'm not sure. What did he say? Nanny Plum can speak ladybird language. Gaston says he would like the pleasure of joining Princess Holly and Ben Elf on the Royal Fairy Picnic, Your Majesty. Very well. It's just a pity he's a bit smelly. <coughs> Nanny Plum, can you translate that? Yes, I can, but I'd rather not. <laughs> <laughs> ah, here we are. The Royal Picnic Spot. Hooray! <laughs> What's this? It's food for the picnic. You mean you actually bring food with you to a picnic? Uh, yes. It's probably some strange elf custom, Your Majesty. Oh, oh, how charming. I've got plenty of food for everyone. Thanks, Ben. But fairies don't eat elf food. We have our own special fairy food. Here it is. Oh, but the basket is empty. You've forgotten your food. <laughs> <laughs> Silly Ben. It isn't empty. It's a magic picnic basket. It can give us anything we want. Let's start with the drinks. I feel like some sparkling fairy juice. Magic basket oh so old. Let's have fairy juice, sparkling and cold. Wow! Oh, yes, young elf. It is rather impressive. Ben, perhaps you would like to choose the drinks for the children. It can be anything you like. Anything? Can I really ask for... Here, Gaston! <laughs> Gaston. Well done. <coughs> Gaston, do you want to wiggle your legs? <coughs> OK, on to your back. <laughs> <laughs> wiggle your legs. <coughs> Gaston loves rolling on his back. <coughs> That's funny. <laughs> Holly, bedtime. Oh, that nanny plum. I've got to go home now. Oh, but we were having such fun. Never mind. We'll meet up again tomorrow. Yes. <coughs> ben, bedtime. Oh, that's my mum. Bye, Ben. Bye, Gaston. Bye, Holly. Bye, Gaston. See you tomorrow. <coughs> He hasn't turned up yet. Oh, let's go and find him. <coughs> oh, look, it's Gaston the ladybird. Maybe he can help. Hi, Gaston. <coughs> can you help us find Holly's wand? It was here, and now it's not. <coughs> Gaston's good at smelling things. He'll find your wand in no time. Clever Gaston! Oh! Why has Gaston stopped? He's looking up into the sky. So that's where your wand has gone. How? Um, can your wand fly? My wand is magic, but I don't think it can fly. Well, it's up there somewhere. 
If only it could talk to us and tell us where it is. That's easy. It can't talk, but it can make a sort of tinkly sound. Great! Could you call to it? OK. Wand! I wand! <coughs> That's my wand! It's coming from up there! It's a jackdaw! And it's got my wand! Jackdaws like shiny things. It's very high up. And I'm not allowed to fly high. No problem. I'll climb up. Be careful, Ben. Don't worry, Holly. Elves are very good at climbing. And I'm an elf. <coughs> Nice birdie. Can we have our wand back, please? <coughs> you, that was lucky. What's that buzzing noise? I hope it's not the engine. It's Gaston the ladybird. Gaston, we're going to the elf farm. Do you want to come along? <laughs> Wise old elf. Hello, Princess Holly. Welcome to the elf farm. <laughs> you must wear this hard hat. What for? In case something falls on your head. Ooh. This way to the carrots. <laughs> this is the carrot field. Ooh. Princess Holly. Hello, Mrs. Elf. <laughs> this way. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> this is the lettuce patch. Ooh. Clear the area. Clear the area. Clear the area. Clear the area. Why have you got an umbrella? We are going to make it rain. With magic. You don't need magic if you have a big watering can. Wow! Push, 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 push. That's amazing! <laughs> <laughs> if you think that's amazing, wait until you see the top. And which poor friend was turned into this insect? No, Mummy! That's Gaston the ladybird. He's meant to be like that. Ruff, ruff. Ah, yes, of course. Hello, Gaston. Ruff, ruff, ruff. Now, children, the twins are only little, so please play gently. Yes, yes Queen, Queen Thistle. Thistle. And the twins must stay in the courtyard. Yes, Mummy. Have fun. <laughs> <laughs> wow, your little sisters are something else. I know. They're a menace, so keep hold of your wand, Fleur. But they're so sweet in Echo. I'm sure they didn't mean to turn me into a kitten. Meow, meow. <laughs> so, what game shall we play? How about hide and seek? Highly, highly. The only problem is the twins can't count yet. I'll help them count. I'm very good at counting. OK. Now close your little eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, let's hide! <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Coming, ready or not? Oh, where are the twins? Daisy, Poppy, 
It's not safe for you to fly so high. Tippy Tappy! Meow! <laughs> <laughs> to a kitten again. Run away, kitten. Come back first. So where are the twins? It's a bit small. Shall I make it bigger? It's fine. Come on, let's play. <laughs> to you, Ben. <laughs> to you, Gaston. <laughs> <laughs> to you, Ben. Oh, sorry. Holly, have you magic the ball into this? No, that's not our ball. Look. <whistles> so what's this then? It looks like an egg. I wonder where it came from. There's no trees here. Maybe it flew. Eggs don't fly, Holly. Magic eggs might fly. Hmm. Maybe it's a dragon's egg. Hmm. Gaston, do you know what kind of egg it is? <coughs> I think that means no. Oh. I know. We can ask Nanny Plum. Good idea. Da da doo dum da dee da. Dum da dum dum da dee da. Da 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 Nanny da, Plum, da, da, da. quick! Oh goodness me! What is it? We found a magic egg. Or a dragon's egg. Come on, we'll show you. Most interesting. An egg. Hmm. Here's the magic egg, Nanny. That's not a magic egg. Is it a dragon's egg? No, it's some sort of bird's egg. Hello. What sort of bird's egg? <laughs> Gaston, find Nanny Plum. Gaston will sniff her out in no time. <laughs> Hooray for Gaston! <laughs> There's Nanny Plum. Stage one completed. Hello! How did you find me so quickly? Gaston followed your smell. My smell? For your information, I do not smell. Nanny, we've got your wand. Holly, you know you're not allowed to touch my wand. It could be very dangerous. But we just wanted to help you. And you said a fairy should never be without her wand. So we're here to rescue you and give you back your wand. Well, that's very nice of you all, but... Stage two, the rescuing bit. Keep still, Nanny Plum. I'm going to throw this lasso round your waist. Uh, that sounds dangerous. I think I'll just wait for the wind to drop and then I'll fly down. Are you sure you don't want to be rescued, Nanny? Quite sure. This isn't quite what I had planned. But now we're all together again, let's resume the lesson. Uh, Nanny Plum, are you sure that leaf can take your weight? My weight? Young man, I'll have you know I'm as light as a feather. Now, where was I? The last thing you said was... Even I find it difficult to fly when the wind is so... Woo! That's the sound you made when the wind blew you away. Woo! Ah, oh, yes. Thank you, Strawberry. Even I find it difficult to... Woo! I'm afraid insects are not allowed inside the castle. It's all right, Nanny Plum. Daddy's invited Gaston to stay with us. Oh, very well then. Make yourself at home, Gaston. <laughs> Gaston, Gaston, ladybird. 
I hope he's going to learn to wipe his feet. Gaston isn't well, Nanny. <laughs> and he hasn't got anywhere to stay. I'm still not sure it's a good idea for him to stay with us. Don't worry, darling. Gaston will be no trouble at all. So, where is he going to sit? He can sit on this little chair. <laughs> Nanny Plum, you can speak, Ladybird. <laughs> What's he saying? Gaston says this chair is too little. <gasps> no! That's the Queen's chair. <laughs> Don't fuss, Nanny Plum. The Queen doesn't mind, do you, darling? <laughs> Gaston says, this chair is too hard. <clears throat> Actually, Gaston, that's my chair. <coughs> Gaston says, this chair is just right. Goodness, it's like having Goldilocks to stay. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind, Daddy. You can sit on this little chair. Yummy. Thanks, Nanny. Yes, this food is delicious. I suppose I'd better magic up some special ladybird food. By a ladybird's growl, food smelly and foul. Ooh, smelly welly. <laughs> Gaston loves smelly food. <laughs> It sounds like she's saying Betty. <laughs> Hello, Betty. <laughs> We're playing with our friends Gaston the Ladybird <laughs> and Bobby B. <laughs> Would you like to play too? That must mean yes. Um, let's play racing. Fastest across the meadow is the winner. Can we fly? No flying and no magic. OK. Ready? Steady? Go! <laughs> wow! Look at Betty go! <laughs> wow! Well done, Betty! <laughs> How about Gaston showing us some tricks? Good idea, Ben. We can sit and watch for a bit. <laughs> Look, Betty Caterpillar is sad. I think she feels a bit left out. <laughs> I know how to cheer her up. Oh, good. Go on then, Ben. <laughs> Don't be sad, Betty. Flying isn't everything. Elves can't fly and I'm an elf. <laughs> that didn't cheer her up much. Maybe I can make her fly by magic. <laughs> make way! Elf at work! There's no work today, Mr Elf. It's a holiday. Is this true, wise old elf? <laughs> I'm afraid so. But I've got an urgent delivery of food for the little castle. I suggest you come back tomorrow. Righty ho! Bye! Bye! Soaking of food? I'm getting a bit hungry. Me too. And me! And me. And me. Queen Holly! We're hungry! Very well. I command you to eat something. <laughs> Being queen is easy peasy. But no one has made any food. Everyone's on holiday. Oh. Queen Holly, if you would allow the elves back to work, we could make everyone lunch. No, no. You all have to have a nice day's holiday. It's the law. But we're hungry. We need food. Uh, I'll make food. 
Indeed. Hooray! Now, what do you eat on holiday? Ice cream. Yes, that's it. You shall all eat ice cream. Hooray! Thank you, Queen Holly. <laughs> cauldron to make the ice cream. Oh, are you going to make the ice cream with magic? Of course I am. But Holly, your spells don't always work out quite right. Making ice cream is easy peasy. Watch. Abracadu, abracabong. Like what? Ah! Cobwebs, for instance. Good evening, Madam Spider. Sorry for damaging your web, but the young elf isn't very experienced at night flying. Oh. You. Bye. Oh. Thanks, Nanny Plum. Nanny, what else do we have to look out for? Ah. Windows. Where did that come from? Well done, Holly. You found the little girl's house. And that's the little girl. She doesn't look very little. Wow, look at that big girl. Shush, she's also got big ears to hear us with. So be very quiet. Follow me. <gasps> she's very pretty. Not too close, Princess Holly. <gasps> Her breath is pulling me in. Beat your wings! <laughs> As I said, we must be very careful. This is the tricky bit. I have to get the tooth from under the pillow without waking the little girl. How? <clears throat> Gently pillow up, up, up. Wow! wow. There it is. <laughs> It's stuck. One, two, three, pull! Oh, thanks, Ben. That's what I call a big baby tooth. What about the coin, Nanny? Here it is. Oh, no. What's wrong? Oh, the little girl's written us a letter. What a nuisance. I love getting letters. But the children always want a reply. Now we'll have to come back again. Can I read? She's, um, big, isn't she? Hmm. Gaston, can you translate for us, please? <coughs> Greetings, your aunt's nurse. I am Nanny Plum. And I'm Holly. I'm a pretty fairy princess. I'm Mr Elf. I'm Mrs Elf. And I'm Ben Elf. <laughs> We're elves. Uh, and you've got my horn. And there's my wand. There's the king's piano. And our TV. And my magic picnic basket. Gaston, ask if we can have our stuff back. <laughs> I think that means no. Why won't you let us have our stuff back, Nanny? Ugh. Goodness knows. What do you want all this stuff for? <laughs> she says it's for eating, even though it tastes horrible. Why is she eating it if it tastes horrible? This isn't food, you know. <laughs> Queen Ant says they used to collect food left over from big people's picnics. <laughs> But the big people haven't had a picnic for ages. So the ants have to eat any old rubbish they can find. That's not rubbish. It's a fine musical instrument. I'm delivering it to the king. It's not good to eat musical instruments. Yes, Ben. She's obviously very stupid. <laughs> Gaston, don't translate that. Uh, when I said you are very stupid, I meant you are very clever. <laughs> uh, she doesn't seem very pleased. The X is marked on Gaston's cave. 
Let's go there! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Gaston. We think there might be some pirate treasure in your cave. <laughs> ah, I used to live here myself many moons ago. Probably before you were even born, Gaston. <laughs> I like what you've done with the place, Gaston. <laughs> Mr Redbeard, what does the riddle say? I the riddle. I'm easily spotted, and where I lay, you'll find the clue to show you the way. Easily spotted? What's that? <laughs> Gaston has spots on his back. And Gaston's bed is where he lays. <laughs> it's another map. Ooh. The X shows the little castle. Impossible. I've dusted every nook and cranny of the little castle. I would have found it. Maybe it's well hidden, me sweetheart. Mm. To the little castle. Hello, everybody. Peace of the night. Oh, goodness me. Daddy. We're searching for pirate treasure. My uncle is Redbeard the Elf Pirate. Your Majesties. A pirate, eh? Not a nasty pirate, Your Majesty. A good pirate. For I am Redbeard the Elf Pirate. <laughs> oh, oh. Well, that's all right then. So, where's this treasure? Hmm. Up above the castle, I point to the sky, and hidden underneath me is where the clue lies. Well, that's just nonsense. I... Rex is a sheepdog. Watch this. <coughs> Rex is rounding up the sheep and taking them safely into their pen. <coughs> wow. <coughs> Gaston wants to have a go. <laughs> You're too little to round up sheep, Gaston. Whoa! What's that sound? It's gone all dark. <laughs> it's Bessie. And who is Bessie? Bessie's a cow. Ooh, a cow! <laughs> she likes you. Uh, uh, now, children, what does the cow give us? A big lick. Yes. And what else? Milk. Well done. But she hasn't brought any with her. <laughs> she has. Watch me. <laughs> it's okay, Bessie. I'll be very gentle. <laughs> Yeah. And there you have it. That's where milk comes from. A cow. Another interesting thing about cows is they always sit down when it's going to rain. Oh, oh, oh Nanny Plum, that's just a silly fairy tale. It's true. Cows sit down when it's going to rain. Oh, yes, yes. What a superb example of a female bovine quadruped. I just felt a teeny drop of rain. These are the cow's udders. Yes, I definitely felt some rain. Uh, wise old elf, maybe you should get out from under the cow. If only I could take a closer look. Oh. <gasps> oh, that's not a stick. Hello, everyone. Hi, Hi Strawberry. <gasps> What's that? It looks like a tin arm. Gaston, where did you find this? <laughs> wow. wow. What's that? It's a toy robot. Ooh. It's a bit broken. We can mend it with magic. Uh, no thanks, Strawberry. We'll fix it the elf way. Elves are very good at fixing things. And we're elves! <laughs> there! Finished! Ooh. So, will it talk? Will it make me a cup of tea? No, it's...
It's just a toy robot. It'll do this. <coughs> That's a bit boring. It isn't boring. That's what toy robots do. Let's switch it on. It doesn't do anything. Oh, oh. maybe it needs batteries. No, it's clockwork. But there's no key. Oh, magic a key. Oh, Holly, I don't think we should use a magic key. Magic can be dangerous. I'm sure it will be OK. Whatever happens, it'll be fun. Mm, all right. <laughs> Shush, Gaston. <laughs> OK, let's see what... You could have an elf party. A what? An elf party has no magic at all. But what about my magic show? The toddlers love a magic show. We have the great Wizardo, an elf conjurer. He doesn't do real magic. It's just tricks. I like it, Ben. It sounds very safe. Yeah, and boring. Exactly. Nanny Plum, call this great wizardo and tell him we've got children we want to bore. I mean, entertain. Oh, very well, Your Majesty. <laughs> Welcome to the party. Tarquin like party. Bye-bye, Tarquin. Be good. Yes, Mama. <laughs> oh. Hello, Nettle. Ow! That stings! Nanny Plum! Me fruity pancake. Ugh. Enjoy the party, Nettle! I'll be back to pick you up later. <laughs> oh, settle down, children, please. The great Wizardo! That's just the wise old elf. I'm not just the wise old elf. I'm also a children's entertainer. Oh, carry on then. These children are a bit of a handful, especially when they do magic. There won't be any magic at this party. I'll put the toddler's wands into the library where they can't cause any trouble. Very clever. Let's get this party started. Hooray! Musical statues. When the music stops, you have to stand as still as a statue. <laughs> Aha! Raspberry, I saw you move. <laughs> and you, Nettle. That's because they haven't been turned to stone yet. <laughs> but where is the snow? Yeah! Nanny Plum! It's snowing inside! Wow! <laughs> snow! Snow! <laughs> Let's play snowballs! Ooh, Nanny Plum! It's snowing in the sitting room! Is this your doing? Yes, it is! Inside is for sitting in armchairs and reading. Outside is for snow. <sighs> Inside, outside, whatever. Nanny Plum, you're fired. <laughs> Don't be silly. I'm taking away your wand until you learn how to control your spells better. But what about the snow? Not another word. Aww. Everyone out. Now Daddy's taken Nanny Plum's wand. She won't be able to magic any snow. Now we won't have any snow for Christmas. There's always a chance it might snow anyway. I can hear something. Is it snow? No, it's the elf plane. Dad's back from the North Pole. <laughs> <laughs> That's the last delivery done. Dad, did you see snow? Yes, lots of it. Enough snow to last me a lifetime. Now you've finished your work, Mr Elf. Are you on holiday? Holiday? Good gracious, no. It's Christmas Eve. There's work to be done preparing tonight's Elf and Fairy Feast. Oh, yes, the Midnight Elf and Fairy Feast. On Christmas Eve. With music and singing and lanterns. 
yes, and those lanterns don't hang them. Ooh, Gaston stopped moving. Interesting. Gaston has frozen. Oh, no! We need to get the ladybird somewhere warm. Yes, yeah, insects don't like the winter. Here we are, the house of Father Christmas. It looks like a Christmas pudding. Oh, wonderful. Yes, little brother, I built it myself. Well, uh, when I said wonderful, I meant it's OK. <laughs> this is Father Christmas's study. We can thaw the ladybird out by the fire. Are these Father Christmas's slippers? Yes, they are. Wow! His feet are bigger than all of us. I think Gaston is thawing out. <laughs> Gaston's back! <laughs> Box 571 delivered. Oh, thank you, little brother. It would be simply spiffing if next year you made the last toy delivery before Christmas Eve. What? At least I make toys. You just wrap them up. Ah, but wrapping toys is the important bit. You have to be as old and wise as me to understand that. You're no wiser than me. But I am, by three minutes. And I always will be. Ahem. Talking of wrapping presents, shouldn't somebody be doing that by now? It's Christmas Eve. Goodness me, you're right. To the present wrapping machines. That's the last of this year's presents wrapped. Time for a... Holly, look. Yes, that must be Ben. Hello, Ben. I hear you've been naughty and got yourself turned into a frog. You really should have waited like I told you. Yes, poor Holly was really worried. Oh, maybe this frog isn't Ben. Maybe that one looks a bit like Ben. But so does that one. <sighs> they all look the same. We'll never find Ben. Look! One of them is wearing a hat. Does Ben wear a hat? Hmm, I think so. Holly! Don't you know? He's your best friend. Yes, Ben wears a hat. Hi, Ben. If it's really you, do a croak. At last. You've no idea what a time we've had trying to find you. Now, Ben, don't worry. Nanny Plum will be here soon and she knows the spell to turn you back again. We don't need Nanny Plum. I know lots of spells. Uh, Violet, I think we should just wait for Nanny. No, no, no. Turning frogs back into elves is easy peasy. Watch this. Zabbity Z, turn yourself into whatever you be. You see, I told you I could do it. Well done, Violet. Ah, that was horrible. I was a frog and I was eating flies. Oh, I don't think my spell is quite finished. <laughs> oh. oh, Ben's turned into a bird. That wasn't meant to happen. <laughs> now we will never... This is nice, Daddy. Yes, it is rather nice, isn't it? I don't know why I've never done this before. Would you like some lunch, Your Majesty? Oh, yes. I am rather hungry. Me too. Telephone for Your Majesty. Someone called Nanny Plum? <laughs> Hello, Nanny Plum. <laughs> yes. Yes, of course. Right away. Nanny says I have to get back to work. Oh, but Daddy, what about lunch? I know, but there is more important king work to be done. But Daddy, you're king. 
That means you're in charge. Ah, Holly. Everyone thinks I'm in charge, but really, I get told what to do all the time. When are we having lunch, Nanny? There's no time for lunch, Your Majesty. You have to judge a fairy fruit and vegetable competition. How do you do that, Daddy? How do I do that, Nanny? You pick the biggest. Princess Holly and King Thistle. Hooray! Hooray! Here are the finalists, Your Majesty. This is a tomato. Ah, very, uh, big. And this, a strawberry. Also very big and, uh, red. Now I have to make another speech. Ah. Well done, everybody, for growing this, um, stuff. It all looks, uh, very big. Now, without further ado, I judge that the winner is the tomato. Or... Stop, Holly! It's not a good idea to fly around Madam Spider. Why, Nanny? The flutter of our fairy wings is like a fly. And she likes to eat flies. Eat flies? Oh. Shh! Yes. That's just what spiders do. You like to eat ice cream. Spiders like to eat flies. They have very smelly breath. Uh, excuse me, Madam Spider. Could we possibly collect a dewdrop from your lovely web here? It is to make some medicine for the king. <laughs> Madam Spider says yes. I'll get the dewdrop, Nanny. Elves are very good at climbing, and I'm an elf. <laughs> Hooray! Very good. Now we need the slime from a slug. Look, a slug! Holly, perhaps you could do the asking this time. You might have to shout a little, though, because slugs cannot hear very well. Why is that, Nanny? Because they have no ears. Can't we just take some slime from the ground? You can't go around collecting someone else's slime without asking them first. It's not polite. Hello, Mr Slug. Louder. Hello! Uh, my daddy, the king isn't well. We need some of your slime to make his medicine. Can we collect some in this jar, please? We're ready. <laughs> Send it in. <laughs> Da da dum, do da di da, da da la la, da dum di da. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Is she laughing? Um, sort of. Oh, splendid! Let's go and join in the fun. Oh, happy elf joke day. That was not funny, wise old elf. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, Nanny Plum. May I say how lovely you are looking today? What? Is this another silly joke? <laughs> no. Oh, you are so pretty. May I take your photograph? <laughs> well, I suppose so. Oh, you are most kind. Say cheese. Cheese! <gasps> what? <laughs> it's smelly elf cheese. <laughs> uh, it's really smelly. <laughs> yes, it's top quality smelly elf cheese. <laughs> <laughs> that was not funny at all. 
Mr Old Elf. Oh, yes, it was. <laughs> I'm going to turn you into a snail. But, Nanny, you said never use magic in anger. I'm not angry. Now, where's my wand? Oh, uh, it was just a joke. Yes, and here's another joke. Elf to snail. <gasps> Who made these hills on my golf course? A mole, Your Majesty. Well, get rid of it. We've been trying to chase it away all morning, Your Majesty. Don't you know how to get rid of moles, wise old elf? Uh, no. Then who does? Nanny Plum. She can talk to it. She speaks all animal languages. Of course. Nanny! Yes, Your Majesty? Ah, Nanny Plum. You talk to animals, don't you? Yes, Your Majesty. Then can you tell this mole to leave my golf course? Uh, no, Your Majesty. What? I can't speak mole. It's one of the more difficult animal languages, along with aardvark. But can't you use magic to get rid of the mole? <sighs> There is one magical method to get rid of moles, but unfortunately, it uses a gnome. What's that? A gnome, Your Majesty, is a sort of elf with a big tummy. What? Gnomes are nothing like elves. They eat too much, talk too much, and never do any work. I don't care what you use, just get rid of that mole. OK, I'll fetch us a gnome. Where am I? Hello, Mr Gnome. I've called you here to get rid of some moles. It will be my pleasure. I like trees, they're not like peas. Custard creams or goo. I'll sing my song and strum along with a fold de do de do Well, that was easy, wasn't it? Thank you, Gnome. How much do I owe you? Oh, I'm not finished yet, Your Majesty. If I go now, the mole will... Where are they? Oh, dear. I think the king has found them. <laughs> Where did this come from? <laughs> really? What a fuss over such a little creature. <laughs> ah! Your tadpoles have turned into frogs, Princess Holly. Tadpoles? Frogs? What on earth is going on? Daddy, I did tell you I had some homework. Here, froggies. This way. <laughs> this is my ring. And these are my toys. Crank, 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 crank. Let's play hide and seek. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Coming, ready or not. <laughs> Found you. <laughs> Let's play another game. Hop, hop, hop. <laughs> Bedtime, Princess Holly. Nanny, say hello to my friends. Fluffy, Tiddles, Mopsy and Ben. Um, hello. Good night, Roggies. Good morning, Ben. Are you coming out to play? Zigzag Zog, make me into a frog. Wow! <laughs> a common frog. Look how slimy it is. <laughs> And how smelly it is. Oh, stinky, whiffy poo! A 
And how silly it sounds. Well, that brings today's nature class to a most satisfactory close. Uh, uh, Nanny Plum, you can turn yourself back now. I don't think Nanny Plum can turn herself back again. She can't pick up her wand. Oh, what a shame. Now, for your homework... But Nanny Plum, we can't leave her as a frog. Oh, can't we? Oh, I suppose not. Uh, which fairy wants to turn her back again? Me! 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 me. All right. Holly, do your best. Um, I'm not sure what spell to use. I'm sure Nanny Plum would want you to just have a go anyway. OK, I'll try this. Abracazari, um, frog to fairy. Oh, it works. Oh, thank you, Holly. Oops. Sorry, Nanny. You did very well, Holly. But you shook your wand a bit too hard. Africa fairy, frog to fairy. Hooray! You see, children, it's all in the wand control. Yes, Nanny Plum. Fascinating, Mistress Plum. But if we might return to nature class for a... Yes, children. What Mr Old Elf is trying to... Be eating him for weeks. He's got the cheese. <laughs> got the engine. Full sail. We're not going anywhere. Yes, we are. Bad Barry is pulling us backwards. I'm on. We've got him. We've got him. I think he's got us, Daddy. Holly's right. We should never have tried to catch Bad Barry. He's too big! He's too bad! We have to let him go! Never! Aha! He's given up! I don't think so. He's eating the lime! Ah! Uh, then he can have it. I give it. Sorry we tried to catch you, Barry. No hard feelings, eh? <laughs> ah! He's eating Banty! <laughs> Launch the lifeboat! Abandon ship! Women, children and kings first! Oh, Banty! Hello, everyone. The chips are ready. Where's the fish? <laughs> oh! What's going on? Big Bad Barry is eating Bunty. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, dear. Do you think Barry would like some chips with that? I think he's full. Alas, poor Bunty. I knew her well. Right. What should we have for dinner, then? I think I'd like fish fingers. With, with chips! chips. <laughs> 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 Wait and see. <laughs> the lemonade has turned into water. Why would you want to do that? That's not magic. It's very sensible magic. It's rubbish magic. Well, what would you turn it into? How about this? Ah! You did magic outside the test room. Oh, it's a lemon. I meant to turn it into a frog. Nanny Plum. My wand's not working right. It's rattling. Oh, I see what you mean. That doesn't sound right. Hmm. When did you last have this wand serviced? Ten years ago. Wands should be serviced once a year. Here, try that. Yes, that's much better. Nanny, 
You turned the wise old elf into a frog. So I did. Are you going to turn him back again? Oh, I suppose I'll have to. Silly old elf, back to yourself. Very good. Your wand seems to be working perfectly. Don't wait ten years before getting it serviced again. Yes, wise old elf. Sorry. Thank you for mending my wand, wise old elf. You're welcome, Princess Holly. <laughs> it's good to have you back again, wand. I promise to take special care of you from now on. Yes, don't bash it on a rock. I won't. <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> it's the gnome. He's come back to eat our breakfast. <laughs> oh, a mole. <laughs> oh, it's eating our washing. Shoo, shoo. Go away, mole. <laughs> Princess Holly, do you know a magic spell to get rid of moles? I'm sorry, Mr Elf. I don't. Oh, dear. Think, Mr Elf. What gets rid of moles? Hello. Yes, moles don't like us gnomes. No idea why. Ah, uh, thank you, Mr Gnome, for uh, saving our campsite from the mole. That's all right. What's for breakfast? The mole ate all the food. Oh, dear. Good morning. Nanny Plum! How was your night? It was very strange. Mr Gnome turned up and he loves oranges. And Mr Gnome sang a funny song called Rinky Dinky Doo. Then a mole came along and ate our washing line and all our food. And now we haven't any breakfast. Yes, I thought that might happen. That's why I've brought the magic picnic basket. Breakfast for everyone! Hooray! Oh, I'm actually very hungry. Oh, have you not eaten either? Not today. Oh, dear, it's empty. <laughs> it isn't empty. It's a magic picnic basket. Magic basket, please. Breakfast for everyone! Hooray! I get the idea. Magic basket, please. Twenty poached eggs. Lots of toast. Nine jars of jam. Forty sausages and ninety pancakes. Yippee! What a splendid... Break! It's an earthquake! It's an earthquake! It's not an earthquake. Phew! It's worse than an earthquake. It's a woodpecker. Oh. <gasps> it's smashing the tree. It's made a hole. It's got inside. Oh, it's not in my flat. Phew, it's not in my flat. Ah, our door stuck. Here, son, let me try. I believe we have found the bird. Everybody, keep calm and don't panic. Ah! Ah! Everybody out! Run for your lives! Ah! Hello, Ben. Hello, Holly. We've got a bird in our tree. Yes, I saw it first. It's a woodpecker. That's correct. I didn't realise your majesty was interested in birds. Oh, yes. I'm a bird spotter. Here's my badge. Then it's very good you turned up. We need all the help we can get. Take me to the bird. Oh, thank goodness you're here, your majesty. The woodpecker is in our home. It's building a nest. And soon there'll be eggs. And when they hatch, there'll be baby woodpecker chicks. And baby woodpecker chicks are extremely rare to spot. Fantastic. When they hatch, I can come back and tick them off in my book. It's got to go now, before it lays its eggs. It can't go. I want to spot the chicks. This tree is for elves, not for woodpeckers. No nesting creature shall be dis... 
May I present the princess's new pet, Pippin. A rat! No, Your Majesty. Pippin is a lovely little hamster. How sweet! <laughs> Pippin likes you, Daddy. <coughs> Oh, it is cute, isn't it? Cute isn't quite the word I had in mind. <laughs> I think it'd be um happier if it lived outside. Very well. Back! Back, Pippin! <laughs> They're fine as long as you don't show you're afraid. Back, Pippin! Back, Pippin! Back! There, Pippin. Welcome to the courtyard, your new home. I hope Pippin won't be bored living here. We'll give Pippin some toys. And hamsters like lots of straw. Can we give Pippin something to eat, Nanny? Foodie, foodie. Yes. And a drink. <laughs> Aww. That should make Pippin feel at home. the courtyard full of straw. It's for your hamster, Your Majesty. My hamster? <laughs> it's funny. The courtyard looks just like a hamster cage. Yes, very amusing. Why does it have to run about so much? Hamsters like running about. Hi, Ben. Hi, Gaston. Hi, Hot. Oh. Oh. Oh, no! Pippin's run away! Oh, um, how sad! How terribly sad! Pippin! Pippin! We've lost Pippin! What a dreadful turn of events! Pippin's gone! Gone forever! Wait, King Thistle! I can get your hamster back! Ah, uh, don't trouble yourself, Ben! It's